through a lot of emailed requests. So that's the, where this medley is coming from. So I'll pick it up here in just a second. But I started off with, May the Lord find us faithful, which was requested a couple weeks ago. And I couldn't remember if I knew that song or not. Turns out I did, but I had to find it. Sorry to interrupt. No, but, you're fine. Um, we had some technical difficulties and no one could understand the first couple songs. So we're going to finish your list and we'll go back and do God be with you till we meet again. And Perfect. Did maybe, they hear May the Lord find us faithful? Do I, I don't think so. I think uh, those two were uh, Perfect. Definitely I'll start. Up. I'll play a verse of those two again then. That sounds good. Well, yeah. Go okay. ahead and work through your list and then t we'll circle back around on Works those. for me. So I... I started with May the Lord Find Us Faithful and then God Be With You Till We Meet Again, which I'll play again here in just a second. And then I did with harps and with, is it vials or veals? It's a word. V-I-O-L-S. So I, I think it's like a short word for violin is what I'm thinking from the text. But that was a really fun song to play, and that came from the Trinity hymnal. And then I went into I Can Trust Jesus, which is a gospel song that the Collingsworth family has sung for years. And then I'm about to play Tell It Again, which is by Mary B.C. Slade and R.M. McIntosh. And someone emailed me and asked me to play it, and we found it in soul-stirring songs in him. So sometimes it takes a little bit of digging for me to find these. But we did have it. So this is a, a relatively new one for me, I think. I don't, I don't think I knew it very well, but the text sounds familiar. So this is Tell It Again. from this book that I have played before, but I think it's been a little while, is the 90 and 9. So I'll just play one verse of it, but to get the full story, you need to read all five verses. So it's about the Lord seeking after the 90 and 9, and there's a really awesome story behind it too, so look it up.
Okay, so that concluded that list, and then I'm going to back up and grab May the Lord Find Us Faithful, which was requested quite a bit for a little while there, and I just did not know it, and did, actually I didn't remember that I had seen it before and did kind of know it. So let's find that again. I lost my page. May the Lord Find 429. So I found the music for it in the Rejoice hymnal from Majesty Music. So that was that book was sent to me as a gift from one of you. So all right, may the Lord find us faithful. That song always brings back super sweet memories because I learned it in 2007 on a mission trip to the Philippines. So a big deal to my dad for all four of us kids growing up was that he take us to a mission field somewhere and get all of us out of the country serving Jesus somewhere. So that particular trip was my first time. I think that was my very first time out of the country. It was. And so he took my older sister and I, and he had taken my brother to that trip the year before. And it was a big camp meeting actually in the Philippines, in Lipa City, in the Batangas province. And on the very last night of the meeting, they all stood around in a circle when they were telling us goodbye as we were about to leave and head back to Manila to the airport. And they all sang that song. And it was just, it was very emotional because it was all these people that a week before you did not know and now meant so very much to you because you realize you're part of the same family. You're the family of God. And just singing that, thinking of the likelihood that a lot of these people we probably would not see again until eternity when we were together forever with Jesus. And uh, that's where I learned that song. So I always think of that church and that group of people whenever I get to play that. So thanks for requesting that one. Somebody sent me an email and requested that. So I enjoyed playing for you. And now I'll get to all of your requests that Josh has been keeping up with while I was doing the opening medley. So that's always fun. He has a much harder job than I do for this kind of session. So, Well, thanks everyone for the feedback that helped me know that there was a problem because everything on my end sounded and looked good, but it clearly was not. So I'm thankful that I was able to 
actually try something that apparently worked for a change. So that's good. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we're glad to be back at it. What has mm -hmm. it been? Two weeks? Yeah, two I weeks. Think? Yeah. So we missed you guys. <laughs> thanks to everyone who actually came out to the um, hymn mm -hmm. sing and the choir workshop we did. That was really awesome to meet quite a few of you. It was actually, I guess we were a bit surprised, but probably shouldn't have been. So. <laughs> we both agreed that was our favorite part, was getting to meet so many of you that said, we watch your Sunday lives. It was like, oh wow, it's so nice to meet you in person. So thank you guys for coming. That We do not take that lightly. We appreciate it. Yes. Okay. So Natalie, how are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. So I the nausea is way down and the baby's kicks are way up. So I guess that, that's a much better trade-off. I will take the baby kicking over nausea any day. So. <laughs> yes. All right. You ready? Yep. I'm ready. Okay. Is your all on the altar? Let's do at Calvary. How can I be lonely? How can I be lonely? Number 92 in the Soul Stirring Hymnal. Okay, thank you for a page number and a hymnal. 90, 92? 92. Okay. I don't know this song, so we'll see what happens. sour note there at the end sorry sorry that's a that is a beautiful song the words are just wonderful one is walking with me or life's uneven way constantly supporting me each moment of the day how can I be lonely when such fellowship is mine with my blessed Lord divine how can I be lonely when I've Jesus only to be my companion and unfailing guide? Why should I be weary or my path seem dreary when he's walking by my side? So 
Thank you for suggesting that one. I enjoyed learning it. Give of your best to the master. Oh, that's an old one. Wow. As a kid, that one always perplexed me because it has the minor section in the middle. And I never was like, I was always like, ah, why is there a minor section right in the middle? I was kind of a nerdy kid singing it that way, but I love the song. <laughs> I've ever played that on a live that it's not ringing any bells that I have so I don't think so either. I think that was a blast from the past we sang it as an invitation song when I was a kid it's, it's a redback song so all right next one is sound the battle cry sound the battle cry dun 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 yes. that is all I know of that song okay yeah we wouldn't get very far. Hold on, let me pull it up. Sound the battle cry. Okay, 419. And uh, this is from the Soul Stirring 2, just because that happened to be the hymnal I grabbed. So, all right, let's try that one. Is living he loved me the name of a song or is that the phrase of the song? It's a phrase of the song. The song is one day. <coughs> okay, one day he's coming. That's right. Okay. All right. Yep. loved me the group casting crown several years ago wrote a new tune to that text i don't know that tune so i'm sorry but that that i think they called their version living he loved me i believe don't quote me on that but that i think that's where that comes but it is the same text as one day we may or may not have gotten that one right i think the request was from like great britain or Oh. somewhere over there so 
Pardon so that us might if not we have the right. wrong tune. Well, the song I played had the words "Living He Loved Me." So. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, the truth is there. <laughs> let's see if you can play this one. Will the circle be unbroken? Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, I took a year of mandolin lessons and a bunch of us kids at church were all taking bluegrass instruments for a little while and that was one of the songs we learned to play. So, <laughs> okay, you never know when you'll need it again. <laughs> I saw uh, a comment just went past me on the screen. Um, someone said they were amazed at how many words are come to their mind from these songs that they haven't sung in years and years. Absolutely. And it is rather astonishing sometimes um, a while back we were I don't actually remember where we were for sure but for for whatever reason someone had a list of songs written out um, like in a spreadsheet you know with like three or four hundred songs and as I like glance through it, I was astonished that like I knew almost every one of them where I yeah. had or they were all familiar so I don't know I imagine if you had to guess Natalie how many songs do you know? It would probably be several hundred. A yeah, thousand. I don't know. You pro uh, probably more, all of us hundreds. know more than we realize. I think, like yeah. it's like, oh, I write, I remember that song. So they, there's an old phrase that says, "What is taught in song is remembered long." It's like when you attach words and a tune to your memory, something about it helps it stick in there. All right, let's do. There is joy in serving Jesus. <laughs> Cheer the heart like Jesus.
here's an idea. How about play a song from the um, new beginner c course? The new beginner course. That music is over there. Okay, don't worry about it then. I'll get it for you in a little bit. Okay, yeah. Well, we should do that, though. That is a very good idea. Like the differences in level one and two. Yeah. That'd be fun. All right, let's Note do Gentle Shepherd. My mind just went blank. to learn that middle section. I, it just completely left me there for a second. I know which hymnal it's in, and it's over there, but uh, yeah, that was bad. All right, let's do J Heaven's Jubilee. We haven't Heaven's done Jubilee? that one in quite a while. Yes. Yes, okay, that one I do know, and I won't miss the middle section, Lord willing, so... Okay, we were looking for that music from the beginner course, but I know where it is. I pointed at the wrong stand. It's in the cabinet, which is not super easy to get to when the camera is in front of it. So we'll get that out and let you guys hear some of the differences, which there mm -hmm. is. I got a message this week, and somebody asked if there's like a free sample lesson available for the beginner course anywhere, and there is for level one. Uh, when I Survey is on YouTube, and it's the exact lesson you get in the course we just included it out there for free so you can see what the course is like. And you get the sheet music as a free download and you can learn to play when I survey. So that's fun. But I've been hearing from quite a few of you that are taking, you've taken level one and now you're in level two. So that's super exciting. So our heart behind that is churches that don't have a pianist to train someone to be able to play. So that, or someone who just wants to learn to play and always has and the thought of, like lessons is a little bit intimidating or it's not cost effective or whatever. That's why we did the course. So it's available and accessible and you can watch it on your own time and you get lots of songs and lots of music. So that's what it's all about. Okay. Yes. So go to the website, um, 
that's it there. And the sample um, lesson and the free download is right there on the home page. So easy to find that way. Do you know, I think we've done this one before, but I don't know if we, you can remember he. He, we did that, I don't know why I remember this, but it's episode eight. Oh wow, that was very long ago. Very long time ago. I, I, someone has sent me the sheet music for it. I don't know that song by memory at all. And apparently it was super popular back in like the 60s and 70s, maybe the 80s. It's all before my time. So very popular back then. Uh, I played it on that episode and haven't since. So I need to pull that one back out again. But yeah, you can hear it on episode eight. <laughs> Okay, we have a request from your niece, Willow. Okay, what does Willow want to hear? Uh, the Old Time Way. The Old Time Way. That's her favorite youth choir song. So, yes, and that was written by a friend of ours, Jonathan Montgomery. So, if oh. any of you guys have seen the Revolving Piano Quartet video, he's the other guy other than my dad. So, he wrote this song. So, it's a great one. All right, Willow, you got to sing out really loud while I play this for you. Mike Robson that like helps us manage comments and keeps you guys updated on what's going on. He goes to church with Jonathan Montgomery. They wrote that song, so there's another connection. Do you know, Lord lay some soul on my heart today? Lord lay some soul on my heart today. I feel like that's a redback song, but is it a redback song? Uh, I know it's not a soul stirring song. You're right, it's not. Um, I don't think I know that song. Let's see. If it's not in this one, I'll look for it this week and find it. But, Lord, there it is. It's here, 284. Okay. It's a, a three ver. It's very short. So it's Ira D. Sankey. So we'll see what happens here. Blessed Assurance.
there there's an advanced version of that on the website so it comes mm. from the cd arrangement it's exactly like you hear on the cd so that sheet music is on the website what cd are you talking about <laughs> haven of rest so my very first solo piano album so the it's available as a hard copy or a digital download on the website and all the sheet music's on there too yes so we would appreciate it if you don't have one if you would go on there and get yourself one we're not that was um, self-produced in the living room just like we're doing this particular broadcast tonight so just minus um, the cameras <laughs> it was quite a project to and we'll just leave it there I but was I think extremely we sick yes, I was very was very sick very we sick. I, I think I was like I don't know far enough along to be very ill so <laughs> it was fun mm. that's one way of putting it <laughs> nah we enjoyed it but she did have a lot of struggles in between I did so. the Lord helped all me all right let's see where are we at now mm. oh someone asked um, if you would play the other song that you've got that book open to right in front of you there. so little time mm-hmm yeah, absolutely. So this comes from Bible Truth Hymns, which is produced by Bible Truth Music, BTM Ministries, and just fantastic. It is a great hymnal. We actually just switched to it at our church last Sunday. It was our first Sunday in it, and we are loving it. Our people are loving it. We're learning songs that, uh, it's songs I've known for a long time, some Josh has known, some different people have known from different hymnals, but weren't in our particular hymnal like living by faith we've been learning my sins are gone I'll tell the world that I'm a Christian tonight we sang where could I go just a lot of fun songs good stuff so we've really really enjoyed this hymnal but if you're looking for an additional one that has lots of variety and like very evangelistic music but yet still has good hymns and it also includes a lot of choruses which is fun so um, sometimes a good chorus is nice but this is so little time a John R. Rice uh, gospel song so let's see here I don't think I know this one either so we'll see what happens I was reading the words while I was playing that and it's so little time and the song is talking to the Christian like admonishing us to get out and reach the lost while there is still time and that we have so little time to rescue souls and tell them about the Lord but as I was thinking about that while I was playing I was also thinking for the person who has not accepted Christ time is short as well because James tells us you do not know what tomorrow may bring and that for what is your life it is even a vapor that appeareth for a time and then vanisheth away so there's also so little time for you to make that decision to turn to Christ and I, I think I've been very impressed upon that this week because I've gotten several emails from you guys 
that watch very faithfully and you've said in the email, I'm not a believer, but I watch because the hymns bring back good memories of my childhood or I like piano music or things like that. But you've said you are not a believer and you do not know Christ as your Savior. So while Josh and I love sharing gorgeous hymns and beautiful texts that do bring back great memories and comfort our hearts, our real burden behind this is that you would come to know the Lord and that you would not turn away from His gift of salvation because it's not of works of righteousness. You could never be good enough to get into heaven. It won't happen just because you, your good outweighs your bad. You could stack all of your good up and it would still not measure the standard of holiness that God demands because He is a perfect, holy, righteous God. And that's why He sent Jesus Christ who completely took care of our sin problem. But you have to accept Him. You have to turn to Him in faith and repentance and accept that free gift. But it is a free gift. It's completely free. It's offered to you. There's a verse that says, Today is the day of salvation. And if the Holy Spirit is tendering your heart towards knowing Him personally, knowing Jesus as a friend, as your Savior, as your personal Lord and Savior, don't turn away from Him. Because just like there's so little time for the Christian to reach souls, there's so little time. You don't know what your life is going to do tomorrow. You don't know that you'll have a tomorrow but yet you do have right now. So if you're not a believer, I pray that you will accept Jesus Christ before it's too late. Amen. So let me respond to a question or two. Okay. Um, BibleTruthMusic.com is where that's available. I think someone actually put that link up oh, good. just a okay. second ago. So good job there. Thank you for doing that. Very good um, hymnal. But that is the website, BibleTruthMusic.com. And that should be the only place that it's available because mm -hmm. they are the publisher. And I don't think they have an Amazon store or anything like that. But um, let's see. Where are we at? All right, let's do two back Kay. to back. Blessed be the tie that binds and brethren we have met to worship. Oh, those are good Maybe together. Maybe other order might be better. I don't know. Either way, they're both. A that works because blessed be the tie that binds is usually an F and brethren we have met to worship is usually in G. So it makes for a good key change. All right. <laughs> All right. Someone asked a question, do you have a course about how to accompany like special music on the piano? Not really. No, most of mine are like geared towards him playing, but I have answered that question on some YouTube live Q and A's. So if you just search for the live Q and A section, like with my name, 
you'll see them. And I, I talk about that in quite a few of those videos. Sorry, I can't pinpoint exactly which one, but I've answered that. The short version of what to do is you don't play as much melody when you're accompanying special music. Like you let the singer be the melody and then you think as an accompanist, which is not going to be playing as much melody. You're there for background and like fill-ins when the singer isn't singing a melody note or if they're holding out a long melody note. So All that's right. a really short answer to a very long question. Well, that is a topic that we actually have intentions mm -hmm. of... Um, I don't know if it would be in the next course. It's possible. But um, basic congregational accompaniment is like kind of number one in a series of hopeful courses that would address mm -hmm. um, some of the finer points, I guess you would say, of, of being a well-rounded church pianist and, you know, the skill of being an accompanist in that role also. So mm -hmm. good question. Hopefully we'll get to it soon in a more in-depth manner. All right, let's see. Let's do two more. All right. And um, there'll be sweet hour of prayer. Okay. And take my life and let it be. Oh, those two go well together too. Mm -hmm. 